Your home world. Uh, Earth? Welcome. Leader of uh, Earth. Pixar is going through it at the moment. They just had their first major cutting of employees in 10 years, which purged out 75 people, including a couple of executives behind Lightyear. As well as Galen Sussman, the lady notorious for single-handedly reviving Toy Story 2 for having file backups on her personal computer. Punishment for a flopping movie. And it's somewhat looking like they're about to be hit with another flop looking at initial numbers for Pixar's Elemental. It seems despairingly clear that the best times have well and truly passed for Pixar lately. The general opinion on Pixar of the last decade has clearly been on the decline. And though some of my personal favourites of the last 10 years have been Coco in 2018 and Toy Story 4 in 2019, it's obvious that the sequel collection and the most recent batch of Pixar movies just doesn't scratch that itch in the same way that some of their older stuff has done. Honey, now is a really bad time. Okay. Bye. I love you. So with Elemental likely to have a quiet whimper out of relevance fairly soon, perhaps the trend of what if Blank had feelings has finally died off for Pixar, exhausting that formula after running it for literally four different decades. So with that contradicting disadvantage of not being as good as they used to be and also overusing their old antics too much, out comes the teaser trailer for Elio. Elio? Eli? Oh, whatever this kid's name is. This is next. Not necessarily the next era of Pixar, since it was all announced in batch at D23 with the likes of that Pixar sports series and the other recent outputs, but it's what's coming next. And as a die-hard Pixar fan, I really want to boost this movie up. I'm switching my position to have the same opinion as before by rooting for Pixar as an underdog studio now grinding against their big disadvantage, rather than jumping on the bandwagon of a gilded studio that's the top of the industry. I genuinely feel like I have mentally relocated where this studio stands in the ranks now. No longer does it stand unshakingly at the top as the premium best of the best stuff, it is now distinctly dropped down to like some sort of early Sony level of output. They're fun-ish movies with a style to them, but not at all what I'd consider top billing. I wouldn't rush out to see these kind of movies if they were all my first impressions of the studio. Now it's DreamWorks and ugh, Illumination up fighting Top Banana. And I really want to be rooting for the success of Elio, but I just can't get into it. Hopefully it's just because it's early days still. This is literally a teaser trailer, but it just looks to me so incredibly mid. Elemental, at least, was actively bad on first impression, since that looks about as generic as you can get. But Elio just has a lot of traits that make it not stand out, you know? Here's a small gripe to start on first. The title. There's a modern trend in animated movies, it seems, to make incredibly short, nonsensical titles for movies. You got things like Vivo, Coco, Encanto, and Elio. It's not really a hook, it's just an identity. It's like description adjacent. Then you've got the faintly more specific title, which is just the name of your protagonist, giving you the likes of Luca, Lightyear, and Elio. All Pixar productions in this case, but the point still stands. I think this is just some bad marketing. At least with the 2003 classic Nemo, we have Finding Nemo. You get the concept of it being a chase right from the very get-go. This just immediately seems to alienate your audience, excuse the pun. But then we have the actual idea. This is new. <sighs> A young boy from Earth is mistakenly placed as the leader of all of Earth. Neat. You know what? It's original. Fantastic. I guess sometimes that's all you can ask for. You've got opportunities to stretch that Pixar creativity with a look into all of these alternate alien species, and I'm sure a heartwarming center about what it is to be human, how it can influence the likes of others, and the worth of family at the core of it all with this workaholic mother. I mean, maybe that there is a little repetitive of a parent learning to understand their child and appreciate them, but it's under a different lens. The fact that it's a human character at all, I think, is a big plus for helping to ground the story a little. It sometimes feels like the generic overtone comes into effect much more when we're dealing with just blobs of characters rather than humans. Elements. Souls. Even the emotions, maybe. I think having human characters is a good step in being able to tell some more compelling stories with the exploration of humanity. Though at the same time, I'm just not sold on the presentation of most of the movie so far. This is new. <sighs> 
absolutely stunning. A visual piece of art that I'm sure we'll see a bit of. That's about all I like. Maybe it's because I'm older now and I can see every other movie in every other movie, but I just see every other movie in this movie. Oh, a trial where a character is surrounded by a council of others? Hello, Star Wars, Harry Potter, Lilo and Stitch, Rick and Morty. Kid has his gasping moment looking at this new weird world. It's just Coco again with the light fixtures. Even if your establishing shot of the world needs to be included in every single movie, a la Elemental, Wreck-It Ralph, Emoji Movie, Luca, Monsters University, Fighting Nemo, Spider-Verse, or whatever, this presentation just seems so... uninspired? Is the director on a break? It's a nitpick, sure, but this is your teaser trailer. This is for our first impression, and this isn't impressive. At least to me it's not. Bye. I love you. And then you've got to showcase a little bit of that humor. Modern movie scripts always have a weird relationship with humor to me, typically going for that sort of tongue-in-cheek, not at the audience kind of gag, which is fine. It's a personal taste thing, I guess, but... I don't like this line. I have no issues with plugging in a gag here. Perfect time for some sort of one-liner. Certainly better than just, ah, but no thank you, that's it. It seems a little effortless and not in the good way. I'd have thought this was a temporary line put in until a real punchline is brought up, you know? And then you got the later one. Uh, uh. We Done before. Basic. He's a kid, so he'd do thing with his phone. Ha <laughs> ha! It's like, again, not even trying. Even if you want to run with the idea that he's gotta take a photo of this crazy event, why not spice it up at least a little? This exact composition and pacing has been replicated in other movies before, so this is the replication. I know this example isn't exactly in character, but even something as simple as having Elio turn around to do a selfie version of this photo could add an extra little twist. Like, he's incredibly nervous, he awkwardly turns around, whips up the camera and brings out a quick snap of a big grinning smile before cutting right back to awkward and anxious. A little nod to how fake our online presentations are. And the snap between expressions adds a slightly new layer to the joke other than, huh, <laughs> kid, phone, photo, funny. That being said, they're not all losers. The final gag of the trailer with crab form Zerg about eating his own mother is great. Sometimes the dialogue can be good. But, uh, earth? Done before. It's lazy. It really does in a lot of ways feel like in gutting the Pixar team over the years, the studio has ship a thesis themselves into a studio that is unrecognizable from its past and into one that is far more corporate and uncreative. Or maybe it all comes down to marketing. In 2024, the universe. Pixar cannot market well, at least not right now it can't. Have you seen the marketing campaign behind Elemental? Recreating posters of other Pixar titles using element pun imagery. Is... is that good? Showcasing clip after clip after clip of the movie, but just as endless previews of random scenes that don't really sell the movie, just exposing more of the mundane puns they could come up with on the prompt. Wow, you're so hot. How long did it take to come up with that one? With a movie idea that is literally the world's most generic and simple idea, how is it this is the prompt that Pixar has no idea how to effectively market? I mean, hey, I guess technically they could have committed arson somewhere and called it marketing, so I guess it's not the worst case scenario, but still. So looping back to Elio, and I can see just the same thing happening. The title doesn't really explain anything, it's just the name of a kid. Luca doesn't tell you anything about fish people, and no one looks that deeply into the graphic designs to pull out a concept, no matter how you dot the I's. At least with Mitchells vs. Machines, they could switch over from Connected. This just looks like another Pixar movie from this era. There's maybe something there. It is original, just like Soul, and Onward, Turning Red, and Luca. The art style is cemented on this current Pixar design. It's the teeth of turning red and the shapes of that sports series they're working on. But the writing is simplistic. And not so simple it's great, it just feels unearned. Like telling a hundred puns about water. 
And at its core will probably be that exact same message and story beat we have heard practically dozens of times by this studio. The value of children, teaching some parental figure to actually recognise their child and accept them for how they are. We've seen it in its absolute most basic extent in Elemental, alongside every other generic animated movie idea. And now we're right back to it with this workaholic mother. This is a Pixar that makes safe movies for maximum numbers, and is suffering for not being the creative lightning rod it was at the start. But this is just a teaser, or maybe it's all down to just bad marketing. Maybe it's a great movie that just doesn't know how to present itself. I know what you mean. I ate my mother at birth. No, uh, just a me thing. Everyone was shocked. Regardless, believe it or not, I am rooting for Elio. It just seems so mid to me right now. It was a grind to get out this script because I barely have any words for it. Like, I was speechless after watching the teaser trailer a couple times because it felt so unmoving. I had no words because I had so little interest in dissecting it. But perhaps I'm accidentally becoming a Pixar hater. I guess we'll just have to see if this underdog studio can rise the ranks again. For now, my name's been Daz. You didn't really care. Let me know your thoughts. I'm curious to know. And I'll see you in a bit. Elio? Elio? Is it Elliot? Eli? Oh, what is this? Okay, bye. I love you. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. I love you. I love you. I love you. Uh...